What's up, Flock? I'm back at Clemson, but I'm ready for football. Okay, we're vlogging, man. It's, it's great to be a tiger. In all of sports, much less just college football. As the Tigers open up the ACC slate against Georgia Tech, as we welcome you to Death Valley, as always, it is sold out. And they are ready for football. It's all about Clemson. Everybody understand that. Have fun with playing football. Play with some joy today. We get to go play football. This is what you work for. Let's go. Justin Ross. Gently up the middle. Just keep giving it to one. As the time slips up now, being pressured in the up dead drop. There's our second sack. Uyangalale dumps it off to Kobe Pace. He's got some room. Looking for the steps. He's got it. Coach, how difficult was it during that two hour delay? What did you do to, to keep you guys engaged? So we met as a group and then we broke up. We, we made the adjustments. We met a lot as coaches. I'm proud of the team and the staff, for the adjustments that we were able to make at halftime and what we were going to have to do to win the game. We on the left. Balls his way close to the line of the game. Second effort. He's in. Touchdown. That ball is incomplete. Good coverage by Makuba. By Georgia Tech, they use their third and final timeout, and it's third. fourth and, and goal timeout. from the two with 19 Georgia seconds Tech. left. Tight end comes in motion. Comes left, goes back right. There's the run. It's a shovel pass. And it's thrown out. is stuck. And the scouts in the middle of the play. Closer will survive. See what we do with the defense, man. Hey, hey, man, hey, look at this, 47, retired it right here, man. Retired it right here, man. Got to punch it in. Got to get a touchdown here. He's, just, he's a dog right here. I know he's gonna get in the end zone and be able to see that play. Be able to see what he does. It's great. You know, Georgia Tech came out a different defense, and we knew in order to win this game, we got to run the ball. You know, as the offensive line, us five knew that we had to really dig in right here. You know, we had to put the ball in the end zone. Shipley made it easy for us. You know, he's a tough running back. Putnam did a great job blowing it up here, open up the backside. I had to base the nose tackle here. Had a one-on-one -on -one block, which is definitely challenging, but we were able to get that thing to open up and. He skirts in there untouched. Textbook, man, textbook. That's what you want to see. Quarterback run. Uyangalale into the secondary. Balls his way close to the line to gain. It was a draw. It was a draw play right here. It was kind of a set draw already. Kind of knew it was always ready to go to run the ball. Um, that block course in center set a great block off of that nose guard right there, turning them out, making it easy for me to go either pick a, pick a side to run the ball to. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, running the ball, I don't know. I just no, I turn into a different person, kind of. just and all the emotions come out as inside. Obviously, everybody kind of knows DJ is pretty, pretty soft spoken, but he's a competitor just like the rest of us. And for him to kind of get that aspect of the game going, that quarterback run game, and and put it on him a little bit, and and uh, fight for the extra yards, and just really lay it out there, man. That was awesome to see. And and we all love DJ, man. We get great movement on the nose, get him displaced get a little sliver of light back there for Shipley. Marcus Tate gets him walled off and he's running through the trash, man. He's running hard and uh, you know what? He's carrying those defenders, man, downfield, just getting every inch. Seeing him get hurt, 
you know, I was I was bummed, I was I was down, you know. But you know, I knew um, that the competitor he was, the player he was, he was gonna fight back. You know, never want to see the guy go down. I know we were a little worried. Uh, we didn't we didn't want him to go down, man. He was our workhorse. He played really hard Saturday. We were glad to see him see him get up, put his hat on, run off the field, and then he was back out there with us to finish her out. Lee again. Second effort. Here the goal line. He's in. Touchdown. All I knew in my mind is that we had to put the ball in the end zone. You just see Walker absolutely finishing his guy. The same with Will Putnam and all I see is a bunch of orange guys just straining to get their job done. The life of an offensive lineman, you end up at the bottom of the pile quite a bit and uh, you don't really know what's going on. You don't know who's landing on you and you just hope that the job that you did was, was satisfactory and that uh, it's enough for the back to get in the end zone. But a little bit of a relief at that point to, to know that we got it done and, and uh, we got the points on the board. So Georgia Tech, they probably need their best two-point play and have their second best Ready yes. to go in the holster. Yeah. Because if they score a touchdown, it will be the first that this defense has given up this year. As you go to take the field for first down, kind of what's what's going through your mind and what are you telling your guys? I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, first keep everyone together, you know, get everyone kind of fired up for this this next four plays we're about to go through. And then then kind of the preparation comes in where you're doing as much communication as possible. You're kind of seeing what they're in remembering all the film study you did, all the prep you did, looking for any key, any tendency, and then communicating those to, to everyone around you. We got a call, we got a formation, try to execute a call, and here I think first, Makuba makes a great play. They do a little, little sprint out, it's usually a little flat in the corner out when that happens, and Makuba just playing ball, you know, gets in the hip of that guy. You know, he's basically man-to-man -man on number two right here, and dude's running a little out route, trying to take advantage of his inside leverage right there and he just does a, a great job of slipping that, getting back this clinic by him right here. Just great feet, great anticipation. And you can see the excitement on him right here. He just abuses this guy. I don't know if you've seen it from this angle. I, don't, I have here, not. Here. Play, play it through. Yeah, I mean, that guy. <laughs> I have not seen it from that angle. Yeah, I thought I was doing something there. Dang, man, what a play by Tyler Davis. That is unbelievable. A leader in there for us. When it matters most, man, he shows up. He makes plays, man. We're just lucky to have a guy like that on our team. Crucial moments showing up, man, making big plays. And after a war of attrition between these two teams, all the timeouts have been used. Down to this. There's the run. It's a shovel pass. And it's blown up. Devaney is stopped. It was Skelsky in the middle of the red. Yeah, I knew 100% our defense would get stopped right here. I mean, big, big Skowski, man, you know, he just dissects every single offense he plays. You know, I set the front, see they move this tight end. So it, it could be like maybe a sprint when they load it, so they call it on the same side. Then I see him go back away, and that's just something's up when they're separate. And then they also do a sprint action here. And when that tight end trails off a sprint action, it's, that's the shovel, that's the shovel pass. That's something I've seen a million times. So, man, as soon as I just felt it and just made it, made a play, man. I've seen him make this play, you know, in practice. I mean, it's just cool to see it come to fruition in the biggest stage. You wouldn't want anybody else in there at Mike running that than him. Probably the best linebacker in college football on my team. Him and Baylor are the top two linebackers. And they did a great job recognizing the play. Bam. Fourth down right there, it's the end of the game right there on that play, man. So I expect nothing less from Skowski, man. He's a dog. He does it every day in practice, does it every game. I'm just thankful to ever have a guy like that on my team. The vlog wants to know just how you're doing today. Man, it's a great day, baby. I had two classes. It's nice and cool, you know, 75. A little, little cloud cover, a little drizzle. So, you know, it's always a good day when it's like that, baby. What'd you learn, a, to, what'd you learn today in class? I, mean, I learned about some policies, policy making. So uh, when you're doing some policies, so if you ever want to go to be in uh, like city council, right? You want to appeal to people's values, their core values. So if yours is freedom, I'm going to appeal to freedom. I'm going to talk about how freedom um, in this policy is great for you. And uh, yeah, you're going to like it. I'm doing great. I'm doing tremendous today. Today I learned about gold and geology. Good. Yeah, I'm blessed. I'm blessed every day. Every day I feel great. Good opportunity to come here every day and get better. My brothers, you know, it's a special opportunity. Today I learned about marriages and 
legal, legal documents and paperwork and everything else that goes into it. Um, it's my sociology class. What's up, vlog? We're right outside the Paul Bistro up at the Video Command Center. Let's go take a deeper look at where we do our thing. So we're inside the Video Command Center here. We got uh, Matt, Henry, and Shaq doing their work, doing their thing up here. On Sundays, we got all the games rolling up on our TVs and really just got the good, uh, good juices flowing on Sundays when we get our workflow done. Hi, I'm Henry Guess. Uh, this is my 23rd year here working with uh, football. Some of the things I take care of during the week is uh, TV copy, kind of uh, working with the coaches' computers, downloading everything that they need, whether it's for a home game, road game, so they can kind of sit there and kind of get the little extra added stuff that they need. My name is Sakiri Malula. This is my first year at Clemson as a GA. Day to day, I mainly help with the uh, coaches film side of video. I just making sure our coaches and our staff uh, have all the film that they need. Hey, my name is Matt Moore. I'm a GA here. This is my second season. I mostly work with coaches film, so helping out the coaches whenever they have issues with their computers. Currently right now, we're putting in the NFL games. So whenever our coaches want to break it down, they have it readily accessible. What's up? My name is Jace McQuaig. I'm the assistant director for internal creative and technology. My role is to help communicate Coach Sweeney's message to the team each week through creative media. I help manage his ideas and come up with videos or graphics that he needs. So what you'll see here is our student workstations. We got six different uh, no computers that our students can work off of at any given time, and that's resolving games or whether it may be an Exos or helping. So when y'all hear the word Exos, we're talking about the overall video platform that we use each week in order to store all of our film. All of the coaches, they'll go and they'll watch film on it. We store all of it. It's this big giant database with literally any college football game, NFL game, you can think of and that's how our coaches will break down film that's how we organize it for them so they can easily see all the opponents they can put different cut-ups of different plays in there that they want to watch specifically our main objective is to support the coaches film everything that they need during practice coaches uh, literally can come in and watch film immediately right after they shower after practice and we push out that media to the players on their iPads so that they can watch practice at night and they can also watch in meeting rooms here as well. So right now we're headed down to the indoor to our AK film stations and uh, what those AK cameras are are pole cameras all across the field and those give us such a competitive advantage because we're one of only four or five schools in the country that can provide these kind of angles and provide this kind of footage to our coaches and our players. There's only one way down here. So it's really just like a joystick. I mean, it's like you're playing a video game and you can you just gotta be precise with it. Before these AKs were installed, we would kind of traditionally shoot with students up on the roof, students up on lifts, and we, we still do that and we have the film tower outside for our, for our sideline shot. But but this has really gave us that competitive edge that, that we keep talking about here and, and how many angles we can get provided and, and the different types of shots we can provide to our, our players and coaches. Our students show up before practice, they start coming in, flowing in. They set up for outside, they set up for inside, for rain plan and outside. Our staff can't handle it without students. They work very, very hard to help produce the best product. You know, from shooting coaches film, to ground camera, to card running, all of it works together to help make us successful. My name's Ryan Asbo. I'm a junior video student assistant. This is where all of our cameras are at. We got all of our cards, our bags, our UMRs, got our batteries for our cameras. We gotta make sure they're charged every day. Walkie so we can hear. It was pretty tough yesterday because we got an away game coming up. They're pumping up the music loud. We gotta format the cards to make sure that the film from yesterday is not on the cards anymore. We check the AK cameras, the ones that we use outside to make sure that we have a clear shot so we wipe off any cobwebs, any dirt, any scratches on it, make sure we have a good clear shot for the coaches. It's raining outside, which means we gotta toughen it out and make sure we watch our steps so we can get these cameras nice and looking good. If you're scared of heights, you kinda just have to face your fear here. Like, you're kinda leaning over the edge, just don't fall. Oh, oh decent. Every game day, Cavell helps us learn how to spiral. 
decent. It's, it's all about the leg work too. Okay, gotta start back. Oh yeah, sounds good. I'm not in competition with my homies, I'm whipping the competition in the rollers. I knew my opposition never knew me, they wouldn't be opposition if they know me. I made the proposition to my hitters, I told them to knock them down if you hold me. I just been sliding around, hitting the building, we moving, we got pounds in the 40s. Got shot down, we was whoring, my homie a op now, so we on her. I was like 16 with the mag on me, deep in the field like it's pop on her. Where did the scene try to So you, you just drop a card case from like 60 feet up? Mm-hmm, it yeah. just, just drops, it changes in all these different directions and yeah, it's almost never called. Couldn't quite get that one. Uh, it's a little tough from up there. It's a pretty high drop. Kind of hurts sometimes if you catch it with your hands. I got it. Also, oh, use these for surveillance. Accountability is a big thing here. Just make sure everyone's working hard. <laughs> Are you looking forward to getting up there Friday night? You know. And being in a hostile environment. Being on the road, especially in an environment like this, you know, it makes the whole entire team to come together. You know, not just it's not an offense, not a defense, not a special team. We're playing in an environment when it's just us versus everybody else in that stadium. So I think it makes the whole entire team come together. By the end of the day, it's just ball. You know, at, at some point, you got to tune out the noise. You got to you got to really you know lock in on what's important. And you know, you can't focus on you know what's outside. You got to focus on what's right in front of you um, and lock in. Good day to be a tiger. Make sure I make the blog. Oh yeah. First time on the blog. Yeah.